everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to show you some of my favorite Christmas sewing projects. And in fact, I sew a lot during the Christmas holidays. I'm making gifts, working on my videos for the YouTube channel. I am so busy. So to sort of help break up the monotony of all the things I'm working on, I like to watch shows and movies while I'm sewing. But I was getting bored. And I, because the shows seemed like they were just getting old and even though they said they were new, they seemed old to me. So I've been watching Sundance now because I noticed the content is so much better. There's such a bigger variety and they also offer a lot of true crime because you know how I am. I really enjoy my true crime series. Oh, and by the way, while I was scanning and looking for shows to watch on Sundance now, I ran across this documentary. I wasn't looking for a documentary, but it had a flashback for me. 40 years ago, my mom and I went to The Price is Right. I didn't get picked, but anyway. So they had a great documentary on this math genius who knew all of the prices on all of the products on the shows. Great video, it's called The Perfect Bid, the contestant who knew too much. You gotta watch that documentary. Sorry I got off point just a little bit, but what I really wanted to tell you about was a new crime drama series. It's a three-part uh, drama that's gonna be out in just a few days. I think it's November 4th, called Too Close. So if you like crime, you gotta watch this one. It's about a forensic psychiatrist and it's a good whodunit because I really love movies like this and how the woman tries to help solve a crime that another woman was involved in. So you got to watch that one. You got to try Sundance now because it's always ad free. There's always something new on it to watch and the best part is it's only $4.99 a month and it's really, really easy to stream. So start streaming your next obsession. Try Sundance Now free for 30 days by going to sundancenow.com and enter promo code the sewing room channel. I'm gonna say it one more time for you. Go to sundancenow.com and enter promo code the Sewing Room Channel. Now let's get started at looking at all those fun Christmas sewing projects. One of the easiest sewing projects you can probably do when you're going to give something as a gift, especially something that is related to food and drink, are bottle aprons. And these are really simple. All I did was use large novelty fabric with, with large prints on it, I should say, and cut these little shapes out. Used either, you could make a bias tape or make your own little bias tape and drape it around the edges of the fabric. And, or you can even print, if you have an embroidery machine, print something that's unique to them or to the item you're giving them. You can do cross stitch designs on these. These are a lot of fun. Now over here, you can use these gift bags here. They're designed for wine bottles or other type of alcoholic beverages that you may be giving to an individual. There again, real easy, simple little ribbon is attached. You can tie in a bow and you can make these any size that you like. Here are some other really easy projects to do if you are a beginner, and that is drink coasters. And if you'll notice on this one, I just picked, again, large print fabric. This just has a Christmas theme to it, a little Christmas thing on it, and you can cut them into any shape that you like. Here is a skiing Santa. Here are little bow, Christmas bows and stockings. And then here is a little reindeer. And this says, I believe, eat, eat, drink, and be merry. Again, cut them into any shapes that you like. Another really easy project 
our cloth napkins. Now this was a fat quarter of fabric. A fat quarter is 18 inches to maybe 21 or 22 inches of fabric each. And you will often see four to five pieces in one pack. Now you can get fat quarters uh, sometimes at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. They do have a lot of fat quarters, maybe not always with a Christmas theme to it. But you can also get them on the internet, going to a lot of different fabric supply websites like eQuilter.com and Fabric.com, and you can probably even find them on Etsy.com. These are also napkins. They're called Christmas tree napkins. You start out with two pieces of fabric. You're in basically kind of a half circle design, something like this. And there's a really easy way to fold these. I had been shown so many different ways to fold them. They were all so complicated. You don't have to draw any lines on this. They're that easy to fold. Here are some more really easy beginner projects. I took a fat quarter and put bias tape around the edges. And here's a basket. Just pushed it down inside the basket and you can put your dinner rolls or cookies or whatever bread group you want to put into this nice little serving basket. Now this other project is also really easy and that is a bowl cover. And I've got this big print on it like this. Again, I put bias tape, double fold bias tape, wrapped it around the edges and some narrow elastic on there. Super, super easy to do. Here are some Christmas tree ornaments, a variety of types. What I did was on this, I just took some, again, large fabric print, cut a square, put a little ruffle on it, a little bow and then a little ribbon loop up there to hang it on the branch. And also I, on this one, I just cut the shape of a Christmas tree. Now I put some polyfill stuffing in these. Now some of these are really easy. You can even get your children involved. This one is felt. Cut a Christmas tree shape out, put buttons on it. Here again is just the shape of a Christmas round bulb put a little loop, you put some sparkly fabric up here. This one is also, an, it looks hard, but it's really easy. Just a little simple method of folding it. You have the option of putting a little jewel in there. This one I really love. I love to do cross stitch. So if you like doing cross stitch, you can also make little designs, cut out a square, you can put beaded trim on it if you want and put little bows and then, of course, a little ribbon loop. These are so much fun and really easy to make. There's lots and lots of items you can use to make for those who like to cook or maybe you like to decorate your kitchen during the holiday time. And oven mitts make a great gift. They're very, very festive. And I have all types of oven mitt tutorials that you can click on. These are really, really simple. You can make them custom made. You can buy patterns. You, there's so many different approaches to making these. Now here are pot holders. I love pot holders. They're quick. They're easy to make and you can get real creative with them. Again, I just cut out a Santa from some fabric, put some other little pieces, put some binding around it, and there you go. And you could put loops on them so that they hang if you want them. Here's another one, cut out a Christmas tree. Here, uh, what do you call this bird? Anybody behind the camera? Cardinal bird, that's what it is, cardinal bird. And now I also enjoy machine applique, and it's really different, really easy, I should say. You cut out a shape, you put fusible web on the back, and I have a lot of videos on how to do machine applique. And then you hot, take a hot iron with steam, fuse it on, do some little stitching around the raw edges, and you have a really pretty Christmas pot holder. Here's a gingerbread man, I love this one. Now this is a mug rug, and I have several tutorials on Christmas mug rugs. And if you don't know what a mug rug is, that's hard to say fast, mug rug. 
you put your coffee on one side and a little light snack on the other side, preferably a sweet roll, because I love sweet rolls. And there you go, and it's very, very festive. Here are some simple Christmas apron ideas. I uh, love panel fabric, and that's what this is. It's a large print, it's in the shape of an apron, and it, the instructions are printed right on the fabric. Really, really easy to make. Now here's another one right here that is also from Panel Fabric. And usually at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, every year they usually have one panel fabric piece that you can buy that has a Christmas theme on it. Otherwise, you can go to other websites, fabric.com, equilter.com, and even etsy.com. Now, in my house, I live in what we call open floor plan. You can see the kitchen from the living room and the living room from the kitchen. So, you, you know, usually most people decorate their living room for Christmas holidays. But in my house, I also need to do the kitchen because it's all in one great big room. So here are some ideas that you can do to decorate your kitchen. You can decorate towels with Christmas themed fabric on it. These are refrigerator door handles and or you can use them for oven uh, door handles. And they're just Velcro, just a big long strip of fabric, put Velcro on it and wrap it around your handles. Here is a simple pot holder. You can make them round or square, and then you can hang these up. Another thing I like are toaster covers. And on the top here, it also matches the other fabric. So you can make it all very matchy-matchy, or just all different from each other. But it just really gives a festive feel in your kitchen. I have many, many, many tutorials on how to embellish kitchen towels for any season of the year. And here are some really easy ones to do. This just has a little strip of fabric I stitched on the towel with some rickrack. Here's another one using big novelty fabric with some rickrack. And you can also do machine applique. And again, I have tutorials on how to do machine applique, especially if you're interested in this little tree design. Often when I'm giving uh, things like this as a gift, I'll try to put some little item they can use in their kitchen that also has a Christmas theme to it, like this little cookie cutter in the shape of a Christmas tree. Here are some ideas that you can do to decorate your dining table for the holiday season. These are some really basic placemats. Now this was just two fabrics stitched together with some heavy interfacing in between. And then I did that big machine applique. I cut out a large Christmas tree and fused it on. This one here has a little pocket so you can put your either your napkin or your knives and forks and spoons in there. It's whatever you want. So you can make them really plain, put applique designs on them, or put other little decorative trim on the edges. I call this one my last minute table runner. Again, it's two pieces of fabric. I just have plain on the back, and then on the front, I have this plaid stripe, and it's got metallic threads going to it, through it, I should say, and it's really sparkly. Really quick and easy to make. You can make it any length and any width that you like. I love semi-homemade projects. In other words, you buy something that's already made and then you embellish it to make it look like you did the whole thing yourself. And that item is these table linens, large tablecloths. They'll sell them at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can even find them at Walmart in a variety of sizes and you'll usually see the red and the green and a gold in the fall and holiday season time. So on this particular one, I just put a little bit of binding around the edges and I also did Christmas tree appliques in each of the corners, see? And that really helps to make a festive look to just a plain tablecloth. You've turned it into something special. Here on this one, 
I took strips of fabric from old Christmas projects, stitched them together and made some binding and put it over the edges of this tablecloth. And you'll be surprised just how quickly a plain tablecloth turns into something very special. I often make table runners with beaded trim or pom-pom uh, trim or a uh, little tassel trim. And it's really easy to add on and it just adds a lot of extra personality to your table runner. If you're wondering what these are, they're called rag wreaths. It's a no-sew project. So for those of you who are a little shy about maybe taking on a sewing project, this is easy. You cut little strips of fabric and you can buy the wire rings at Dollar Tree and Walmart. And you just wrap these around the, the fabric, wrap it around and tie it in a knot. You can even get your children to sit down and make these because there's no cutting for them. You could cut the fabric out for them, let them tie the knots. You can even make smaller ones. So if you've got a smaller front door, if you want to hang them in your dining room, you can make these smaller versions too. I've only seen the small rings at the Dollar Tree store. Now, you don't want to forget the stockings and you can even put names on the stockings if you want to. You can do machine applique, put the names of every family member or use an embroidery machine if you have one. You can put little loops on so you can hang them. Use novelty fabric like this. This has got cars all over it, Santa driving cars. And then other little novelty pieces like this. Or you can uh, get really elegant with fabrics like this. And then you can get little more complicated patterns in which you have multiple pieces to stitch together. And you can even add on little pom-pom fringe. Isn't this a gorgeous tree skirt? Now this one is a great one to start with if you are a beginner. I show you how to draw a simple pattern, and I mean it's really simple. So for those of you who don't like to draw your own patterns, trust me, this one is easy. So you can put two different fabrics on it, so you could have a two-sided. This just has a dark green fabric on the back, and then this printed fabric. These are all uh, different shapes of Christmas trees. You can also put fringe on it if you want to. This is pom-pom fringe, but there's other types of fringe that you can also add. And you put a little slit up the back. This one's really easy. If you've been watching me for, for very long, you know that I love my pillow projects. And these are one of my favorites. Again, these are machine applique, or if you have an embroidery machine, you can do this on your embroidery machine. I made tiny little yo-yo circles, super easy to make, and placed them wherever there was the letter O. So this is ho, 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 this is joy, and this one here is Noel. And don't forget about making a Christmas quilt. Now this is a really easy one to start with. It's panel fabric. So this one whole piece in the middle is one piece of printed fabric. And then I added a border to it. I just put on scrap fabric border, just cut out little squares and rectangles and stitched it around the edge. Now you can buy panel fabric at a lot of places. Every year, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts usually has at least one type of panel fabric for Christmas in their store. Sometimes maybe they'll have two, but the last couple of years it's had either a horse theme or a car theme. So I've made all that they've uh, had over the last several years. Now, if you're an experienced quilter, I want you to kind of focus up here on this wall this is a pieced quilt. So if you already have some quilting experience, you can cut out these squares and rectangles and put a border around it. Now on most of my quilts that I make, especially for the holiday season, I usually make them lap quilt size. That means you can sit down in a chair and it covers your legs. But I also put a sleeve on the back of the quilt up at the top edge so that you can just insert a rod 
in through the hole and hang it up on the wall. So you can put it in your dining room, over your sofa, or wherever you like. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I've inspired you to start making some of your Christmas items either for your own home or for gifts to family and friends. Now remember, don't forget to check below your YouTube screen for the video link that'll take you to a playlist where you can see all types of tutorials on how to make all of these items. Now don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. See you next time.